So a big change is coming to downtown Dallas, and it could not impact just you, but also visitors who will come to Big D. And in fact, that's where we're going to begin tonight. Good evening. I'm Doug Dunbar. Good to have you for CBS 11 News at 6. Tomorrow, the Dallas City Council will decide the future of the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center, but it will be eventually needing some voter support. Steve Pickett joining us now from the current convention center. Steve, what could come next? Well, what you see behind us, uh, effects simile thereof, that is much more high tech and a whole lot more money that could be coming here, Doug, here in the next five years. As you know, for the last 50 years, thousands of events have been held here at this convention center. But the plan, as you mentioned, is to demolish this location in the effort to help revitalize this part of southern downtown Dallas. It is the city's venue for visitors, a castle of commerce under the category of conventions, car shows, comic cons, conservatives. If Dallas could bring it, the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center would host it. Unfortunately, what's happening is the convention center itself is falling apart. Dallas City Councilman Omar Narvaez is about to join his elected colleagues on Wednesday to select a planned replacement for Dallas's convention center. This almost $2 billion plan facility is the slated replacement that could be built next to Kay Bailey within the next five years. At the convention centers, you can see conventioneers, they want to come to Dallas. They haven't quit coming to Dallas, but what they're telling us is that the convention center itself, we can't land the big giant conventions that would want to come here year after year because we just don't have the facility for it. Dallas's convention center master plan defines the proposed project as a convention center district. The city-operated Omni Hotel sits in that zone, and more development like it is needed, city officials say, to catch up with other cities. And so if we want to stay as one of the largest cities and attract people here who don't just come for conferences, then we need um, to make sure that we're offering them um, an experience that competes with other cities. The financing of a new convention center would come partly from the city's tax rate on visitors, those staying in hotels. But Dallas voters will decide whether to increase that hotel tax in an election in November. And literally where I'm standing right now, by 2026, you could see just a part of the brand new K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center if this plan is approved. Again, the city council only votes on this proposed plan. It will invariably be up to voters to determine how to finance it if this city council approves this proposed plan. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.